All right, guys, welcome back. Gonna do another episode for all you tackle junkies out there. A lot of people asking me what rods, reels, um, setups that I use for a lot of the light estuary stuff that I'm doing. So, uh, brim stuff, flathead stuff, uh, light snapper stuff. Uh, let's get into it. We'll start off with the Samurai Reaction, which is a very, very light, um, very light setup with a hundred Stratic CI4 Plus on it. Uh, spool that generally with anywhere between four to six pound uh, braid. And basically what I'm doing with that is I'm cranking a lot of pontoons. It's hard to show you how flexible that is, but very, very light in the end, throwing out light plastics, light crankbaits, light shads, all that sort of stuff. Cranking boat hulls, pontoons, all that stuff I love to crank. Um, basically that's what I've got in my hand for 90% or 80% of, of bring comps and stuff like that. I've got this rod in my hand and I'm working pontoons, man-made structure, all that sort of stuff. So price wise, very expensive. Uh, getting up, it's in the 300s. So, but definitely worth the money. I mean, it's full, full graphite, full, you know, goodness, very fast, two, four pounds, so very light. So if you're throwing out stuff that's like two grams or three gram lures, four gram lures, stuff like that. Uh, very fast, seven foot. Uh, with the Stratic 100, very light. So brim basically is all you're gonna really want. This for is uh, brim, very finesse brim stuff. So uh, very good. And the Stratics, obviously you can pick up for 199 if you find a good deal uh, for the 1000s and 2500s. So get that India. All right, so next up we got the Mega Bass Racing Condition. All right, so it's a seven foot rod again, uh, two to eight pound, and paired with the Stratic CI4 Plus 2500 with, I think, uh, six pound on that, I think. So, six pound on that. And basically, very fast rod, similar to the uh, the Samurai, but not as, not as fast. You can throw things up to like six grams sort of lures on these. Uh, anything from crankbaits to soft plastics. Generally, I'm throwing like a crabby soft plastic on this or a crank a crab, something like that. Um, yeah, very, very fast rod. It's uh, it's a good all-rounder actually. If I if I uh, need to crank boat holes or whatever, I can do that. If I need to throw light plastics or a crank a crab, I can do that. If I need to throw out like a jackal chubby or a big uh, sort of crankbait, I can do that. So it's a pretty, pretty good all-rounder. In terms of price, I think the rod's in the 300s again. And the Stratic, you know, 199, obviously. Um, you can get a good deal on those or 230, something around that for the new the new models. So yeah, good good for brim. I suppose flathead. I've caught flathead on them before, but I wasn't particularly targeting flathead with it. But it'll, it'll catch flathead. I think I caught a 50 caught a 50 centimeter flat on on this a uh, couple of months ago so yeah definitely can do and um have a look all right so next up we've got the g loomis gl2 so again a seven foot rod paired with a uh 2500 stratic there ci4 plus uh now i've got this one spooled with mono because i'm throwing basically all i throw with this is top water uh got a nice little Top water lure on there, um, spooled with the mono as you can see. This is the older version of the CI, but still works fine. I mean, I think they just upgraded the look in the case. So yeah, seven foot rod, a little less refined than the other two rods there, and I'm pretty much using this exclusively for top water. So um, plenty of flex in the rod. I'll run a clip and show you. Um, very nice action, especially for working the walk the dog sort of style sugar pens and and all that sort of stuff. So um, keep that in mind. Price wise, I think maybe 200 bucks you can pick that up for. And then obviously the reels, you know, I got them for 199, I think, uh, when the model was running out. So yeah, I mean, probably not the most finesse rod that you're gonna get, but um, definitely a looker and it's a little bit cheaper than those other ones. So keep that in mind. All right, next up, we've got the 13 Fishing Omen Black, which is a seven foot one rod um, with the Stratic 2500. Again, the older model. I got two of them, I think, at the same time for 199. Um, you can throw anything from 
uh, fairly light, very light to anything up to one quarter ounce, say. Um, yeah, so you can chase flatties with these, you can chase brim with these, good all rounder rod just in the estuary. I've broken probably two of these rods, very, very high graphite rod. So yeah, you don't wanna knock these around too much. Be careful if you're gonna buy one, around about 199. So yeah, I mean, give them a look, 13 fishing, just keep in mind that they are very, very high modular graphite. So you gotta be pretty gentle with them. So um, rip to all the, uh, the ones that I've broken in the past. All right, next up we've got the Dobbins. Uh, this is a four to 10 pound. So you can throw anything from uh, one eighth jigger to, uh, I don't know, like a three eighth or an ounce or a half an ounce. Um, very light. Uh, again, Stratix, love my Stratix, get them on there. Uh, this is a very light rod, very light, fast action. Um, I've actually got a big hard body rigged up there for chasing flatties and stuff like that. So yeah, basically if I'm going flatty fishing, I've got this rigged up with anything from a hard body to a uh, to a soft plastic or whatever you need really. And this will punch well above its weight as well. So I can go and target squire, like shallow water squire and uh, that in, in the bay, in Morton Bay and stuff like that. So yeah, very, very good all round. I've got this bull with 10 pound. Usually I'm running 10 pound braid with a 10 pound leader. Um, and yeah, this is sort of on the heavier end of, of the, the estuary stuff that I do. Um, and then anything heavier than this, I'll go up to my heavier rod. So yeah, Dobbins rods from the state. So you'll notice that it's got all the uh, drop shot and whatever, which basically means nothing to me. It's just a nice, nice rod, um, quite expensive, but definitely worth the money, the, the champion. XP, very light in the hand, very, very light in the hand. You can throw this all day, not a drama. So um, I definitely would give them a look if you're looking for something that's on the higher end. Um, now, I'll just do a couple of honorable mentions because these are all fairly high priced uh, rods. Now I've gone through a lot of rods, I've bought a lot of rods, I've broken a lot of rods. And um, so yeah, I can speak from experience that if you buy quality you're going to get more quality but then with the quality again like i was saying the high modular graphite rods you need to be a lot more careful so don't just go throwing things in the boat or or you're not going to buy one of these rods for your kids or whatever so keep that in mind but some honorable mentions uh the arrow the new atomic or major craft arrow whatever you want to call it very good very close to the very close to the samurai uh both in just everything i think they pretty much took that samurai and said here copy this and make it cheaper so that's a very good rod um the raider rods shimano raider rods i've used a lot of those uh, when i was first starting out they're quite good rods i've still got still got a couple getting around if i get any so many any guests on board that are a bit you know heavy-handed i'll just give them a raider um so yeah obviously look at those and and you know abu garcia and stuff like that but just, just pick stuff that's, just have a look at the more expensive rods and then try and find something that's cheaper that's sort of based off those more expensive rods, like I said, the arrow and such. So basically, that's the nuts and bolts. That is the nuts and bolts, guys. So like it, subscribe it. Any other questions, I've pretty much covered it. I'll probably do another video with some heavier gear um, later on, so yeah, just keep, keep an eye out for that and um, see you on the next one.